Okay, welcome to this lesson on introduction to the canvas element in HTML5. What I've got here is I have a uh, some HTML done in Notepad that and this is all standard HTML, but this is the canvas element. It starts out with the tag canvas and it gives you the width and the height of the canvas it's going to be. Now the canvas is what objects can actually be drawn on. They, they can be animated on there. So for HTML5, the canvas element is probably one of the most important elements there. Although some people could say, well, the audio element or the video element or many of the other elements are more important. Basically, the way you do the canvas element is it has two major attributes, the width of it and the height of it. And these are in pixels. And there's the opening tag and the closing tag. Generally, what you want to do is you want to add a statement in there. Your browser does not support the Canvas element. And these are for browsers like, at the time of this video, uh, Internet Explorer, that doesn't support the Canvas element. Uh, right now, we're using Google Chrome. And there's other, uh, since this is such a dynamic uh, area that's always changing, it's probably good to research on the Internet which browsers are currently supporting the HTML5 Canvas element. Now that's really all I need is just that code there to have the canvas element. Let's click on it though and see what it looks like. Well when I click on it I see nothing. I don't see anything at all. But believe me there is a canvas element right in here somewhere. And if I were to draw a rectangle on it or something like that you would see the rectangle. But for right now you don't see anything. So if you want to set it up so that you can see something w uh, uh, of the canvas like this here, okay, hey, there's the canvas right there. And look, the background's now black, and I have a really nice, thick, juicy border with an insert, and the background of the canvas is light gray. There are several ways of doing that, but the, the best way of doing that is using cascading style sheets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and just show you what I did here. I'm going to open this with Notepad, and this is what's different now. There's the canvas element just like we had before. No different, right there. But what I've added now, I've added, added a style tag that goes right in the head element. And what I've done is I said the style, I'm going to use the body. That means for the body element, I want the background color, dash color, colon to be black semicolon. Now notice that it, uh, a CSS uh, starts off with an opening brace and a closing brace and it says I want the body element so here's the body element it means everything inside this element you want its background color to be black except for the canvas element so where's the canvas element well the canvas element is right here see the opening tag for canvas and the closing tag an opening tag and the closing tag defines an HTML element so what I want for the canvas, there's the opening brace, I want its border width to be 10 pixels. That's why you get this nice wide thing here is, uh, that we got before. Uh, this dude here. See, that's 10 pixels wide. Okay, let me just close this one here because it's the same thing. Now I could modify that and make, make it not as wide. So that's where that comes from. And then the other thing I can do is that I said I want the border style to be inset. The border style could be solid or it could be dash or it could be an outset. And I want the background color colon to be gray. And it could be any legitimate background color. I could change it to blue if I wanted to and, and go ahead and try that. So what I need to do in order to, if you want to see the canvas, one of the best ways of doing it is using cascading style sheets, just like we have here. Sometimes you don't want to see the canvas, and if you don't want to see the canvas, you just want to see what's on it, then you use you don't use the style sheets. So here it is with the style sheets, you see the canvas. Here it is without the style sheets. The canvas is there, uh, but you don't see it because we haven't done any styling with it. So you pick whichever way you want it. And, and a lot of applications, they just leave it, leave it invisible. And then the documents and stuff or, the, or the, the objects on it, what have you, that move around and I can interact with, you don't notice that it's really different from the rest of the web page. 
Okay, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching.